Morning, a local politician coming under fire for a sex assault joke. U.S. Representative Ralph Norman of Rock Hill was debating opponent Archie Parnell last night, and to kick things off, he said something that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Yeah, it sure did. Norman, joking quote, did y'all hear this latest late-breaking news on the Kavanaugh hearings? Ruth Bader Ginsburg came out saying she was groped by Abraham Lincoln. End quote. Let's get out to NBC Charlotte's Ariel Placencia live outside of Norman's Rock Hill office. And Ariel, Norman is running for re-election now. And this joke in this climate, that could really hurt him. Rachel, it certainly could. I mean, the firestorm over social media doesn't appear to be dying down anytime soon. And we've already seen this story get picked up by the Washington Post and USA Today. And here's the real kicker. Ralph Norman's Democratic opponent, Archie Parnell, he made his own set of national headlines just a few months ago. Ralph Norman's controversial comments drawing a few laughs at last night's debate and swift criticism this morning. Many feeling the congressman was making light of women who come forward to talk about their experience with sexual violence. The Kiwanis Club, where the debate was hosted, quickly taking to Twitter in response, writing, statements such as the one from Representative Ralph Norman do not reflect the objects of Kiwanis. The South Carolina Democratic Party slamming the GOP candidate, writing, This is disgusting. What sexist is writing your jokes, Ralph Norman? And Archie Parnell, Norman's opponent in the 5th Congressional District, had this to say, My opponent apparently thinks sexual assault is a joke. It is not. But I guess that's the best we can expect from someone who pulled a loaded gun on his own constituents. Ralph Norman clapped back on social media, saying, Perhaps we should have a debate about your own abuse and harassment of women, Parnell. The district has seen its fair share of controversy. Parnell faced allegations that he physically abused his ex-wife back in the 70s. He then took to Twitter to apologize. Meanwhile, Norman put out a series of three tweets, the first one getting the most attention, in which Norman wrote, people really need to lighten up. So we'll be keeping a close eye on Twitter throughout the day today. Again, we are here at Ralph Norman's office in Rock Hill, where we are hoping to get a comment about what he said last night. Those elections coming up on November 6th. So Robin Rachel, we'll have to wait and see how this thing all plays out. Live for NBC Charlotte, I'm Ariel Placencia. I'll toss it back to you. All right. It's making a lot of people angry this morning, as you just mentioned, Ariel. We'll see. Thanks.